In the last video, we tried a 3x3 three three example with lots of carrying and lattice multiplication. Here we're going to try a larger example just to get a sense really of the limits of this algorithm and the ways in which it works on a larger product. So here we have five columns and four rows, so we'll do a 5x4 um, product. Let's pick our factors. Let's try 9, 8, 7, 6, 1. Just picking numbers here times 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the lattice multiplication method, we should set our diagonals up. Right? We want to cut each square with a diagonal. And this will form our place value. Each diagonal is a new place value in our answer. I'm going to extend these. And these diagonals can be extended beyond the grid because what's going to happen is the final digits are going to be placed outside the grid in these diagonal columns. So the longer we make them, the clearer I think it'll be at the end when we want to find our answer. So I'm just going to extend these. This might take me some time, but you can work through it with me. Here we have 4 times 1. What's that? That's just 4. And again, this diagonal is going to be 1s. This diagonal is 10s. And next, let's do 3 times 1. Well, that's going to be what? That's just 3. But again, that really, oops, that really represents 3 tens because it's 30 times 1. And now 2 times 1, which is 200. So we put a 2 in this diagonal, the, the hundredths diagonal. And here, 1 times 1 is just 1. But this now becomes the thousands diagonal. I mean, that makes sense, right? Because this is the thousands place. It's 1,234. In fact, let me write this out. What this problem is really saying is 98,761 times 1,234. So this 1 is the 1,000 here. So it makes sense that this 1 will land in the oops, thousands diagonal. Let's move on and switch colors, of course. 4 times 6 is 24. And that's really what? 240. So these place values really matter. 3 times 6 is 18. Now I'm going to work fast now. 2 times 6 is 12. 1 times 6 is 6. And think about the place values as we go on because really um, that matters, but in terms of solving this problem, we can just solve these individual one by one pairs. Next we have 4 times 7. That lands in this grid. That's 28. 3 times 7, 21. 2 times 7, 14. 1 times 7 is just 7. Moving on to the next column. 4 times 8 is what? That's 32. 3 times 8 is 24. 2 times 8, 16. 1 times 8 is just 8. And don't worry, we'll talk about what all this means in a moment. 4 times 9 is 36. 3 times 9 is 27. 2 times 9 is 18. And 1 times 9 is 9. Okay. So let's, let's just say that what's going to happen is each diagonal will add a new place value to your final number. This is ones right here, and then tens, and then hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, and hundred million. And those combinations make a lot of sense if you always go back and think about, yeah, this is a one times a nine, but really it's one thousand times times what? times this 9 is 90,000. So 1,000 times 90,000 gives you a number in the, in the millions place, right? If you think about that, or 10 millions place, excuse me, because 90,000 has four zeros, and 1,000 has three zeros. So it gives you this number right here, 90 million. Anyway, so now what we do is we add up each diagonal. And we'll come up across some carrying here, but we can deal with that. In this first column, we just have a 4. And then here, 3 plus 4 is 7. Here we account our first carry. If we add up all of this stuff, we get 20. So 20 here is 21 hundredths. So it's really 2,000. So we keep the 0 here from 20 and carry the 2 into the thousands place. So we're going to add this 2 to whatever we have here. So we have 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? 9 plus 2 is going to make 11, so we'll carry that again in a moment. I want to go right through this way. Um, actually, excuse me, I should carry it right now. Because 9 plus 2 is 11. That's going to represent 11 one thousands. 
And 11 one thousands, of course, be right right here, 11,000. You can just think of that as 10,000 and 1,000. Right, 1,000. So these 11 is 11, right, 10, 100,000, 11, 10, 100,000. No, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. This is 11,000. So we put one in the 10,000 place. This 11,000 is made from one 10,000. And we keep the other one here in the thousands place. So we don't lose really what's happening. We're just shifting it around into the appropriate place value. Now we add this up. 6 plus 1 is 7. Plus 4 is 11. 9. No, okay, I was subtracting there. 6 plus 1 is 7. Plus 4 is 11. Plus 2 is 13. 17, 26. So it's 26 plus 1. This is 20, right? 26 plus 1. We add up these two, this is like 27. But now this is 27 ten thousands, which makes 200,000 and 7 ten thousands, or 70,000. So we're going to get rid of this two, or carry it over to the next place and add it to what we have here. And keeping track, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And now we add this diagonal. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14, plus 2 is 16, plus 7 is 23, plus 3 is 26. Let me double check that one because I spaced out a little bit. 7 plus 3 is 10, 6 and 2 is 8, that's 18, plus 8 is 26. Okay, so 26 and 2 is 28. Add up the 2 and 8 together. Oh, oh boy. 26 plus 2 is 28, but this 28, remember this 2 really represents the next place value. So here we put the 2 here and leave the 8 because again, 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s, 100,000s, this actually has 2,800,000s. If you have 2,800,000s, you have 2,800,000. That's what that 28 represented. So the 2 gets carried into the millions place here. This is millions now. And the 8 stays in the 100,000s place. So this 2 is going to be added to whatever we have here. And what do we have here? Well, we have 19. Right? 2 and 8 is 10, plus 9 is 19. Add up the 2 and the 19 to get 21. Now, this represents 21 million, that 21. And notice, of course, we've gone over 9. So we have two digits here. The 2 needs to be moved into the 10 millions place right here. And we keep the 1 in the 1 millions place. So we carry it over here. Add 9 and 1 to get 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. And this 12 represents 12 10 millions. If you have 12 10 millions, what do you have? Well, you have 120 million. Right? That's 12 10 millions. So 120, 10, 120 million, the 100 million moves into the next diagonal. And the 2 representing 20 million stays in the 10 millions column. So now, that was a lot, but we can keep track. We have 1, 2, 1, 8, 7, 1, 0, 7, 4. Wow, okay. And I'm really hoping I did not make a mistake here, although it's possible. 1, 2, 1, 8, 7, 1, 0, 7, 4. 121 million, 871 thousand, and 74. Whew. Okay, let's check this one. So, clear it and hope. 98,761 times 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we go. 121,871,074. We did it. Yay.